It's now time for you to learn spin avoidance. So the nature of this exercise is for you to learn how to prevent getting into an actual spin or when a spin should occur with your aircraft to get yourself out of the spin of the initial stages. So this exercise is not to actually show you how to get into a spin. When also doing actual spin training, make sure your aircraft as well as your flight instructor is certified to do spin training, but never attempt spin training by yourself or without a valid flight instructor. So we're gonna start off just by quickly explaining what is happening with the spin. Basically it's a stalled followed by a wing drop and any aircraft either spins to the left or to the right. So how do we counter this action? Simply, let's say for this instance the aircraft is gonna to spin to the left. What we will do is, in this most cases, the control column is all the way back and deflected either left or right. So first get your control column centralized and release back pressure on your control. Then we will follow by applying opposite rudder to the turn. So if we're spinning to the left, we'll apply right rudder. And if we are spinning to the right, we will apply left rudder. And also, should you do this with um, power on during an actual non-simulated scenario, just also remember to reduce your power to idle, because there's no point rushing towards the ground much faster than anticipated. So with that, let's get into the exercise. As always, you'll start off with your hazel checks, followed by your lookout from left over here to dashboard to the right. Once safe to do so, we will now start with the spin training exercise. You'll start off by applying carb heat hot, and we'll reduce the power for this exercise, and we'll raise your nose to get ourselves into a stall, which we will follow with a wing drop. So we'll raise the nose, keep the nose raised, there's full back pressure and there the wing drops and starts spinning to the left. So now control column neutral, release pressure, opposite rudder to stop the aircraft turning. And now we gently apply back pressure to ease out of the dive. We'll roll that wings level a little bit and apply power for the cruise and carpet goes cold followed by our after takeoff checks. Once the after takeoff checks has been completed, you can then go ahead and climb back to your altitude. And that's the lesson on spin avoidance training. See you for that next flight lesson.